The priest of the Hindu temple in the Canadian city of Brampton has been suspended for spreading violence rhetoric during the recent clashes between protests carrying Khalistani flags and the people present there. This comes after Khalistani goons orchestrated unprovoked attacks at the Hindu Sabha temple in Brampton and attacked devotees, women and even children. Now here is what it makes uh, problematic. The Khalistani who demonstrated unprovoked attacks are out and about. They are being protected by the Trudeau government. Meanwhile, a Hindu priest has been suspended for calling out the violence against Hindus and the attacks on the Hindu temples. All right, we are joining me live on the broadcast is my colleague Brian. Brian, it seems like uh, the action that should have been taken by the Canadian authority against the people, against the separatists who are inciting violence is now being taken on the Hindu uh, priest who in fact called out the violence in the first place. What is the latest that you are tracking from your sources as far as uh, uh, the confirmation over the suspension of the priest of the Hindu temple is concerned in Brampton? Well, Simran, now the latest that we are, uh, you know, we are getting from our sources that now the Hindu temple priest in Brampton, Canada, who had been now suspended for alleged violence rhetoric, now has been reinstated. Now, this is the latest that we are letting you know. The Hindu Canadian Foundation has announced on X that Rajinder Prasad was cleared of any wrongdoings and restored to his position as the temple priest. And the organization suggested that recent events reflect a concerted effort to discredit Hindu Canadians and broader Hindu uh, community. Now, the foundation also uh, criticized Brampton's, uh, you know, uh, Mayor Patrick Brown, accusing him of damaging the priest's reputation also by posting allegations on his official account without evidence or proper investigation. And even, very important to note, Simran, that the foundation stated that Hindu Canadians and Hindus in Brampton are demanding a clear explanation. And talking about this very incident, the priest's suspension followed a November 3rd incident at the Hindu Sabha temple where demonstrators reportedly bearing Khalistani flags uh, disrupted a consular event which was co-hosted by temple authorities and the Indian consulate. And in, even in its official statement also, the Hindu Canadian uh, Foundation clarified that Hindu Sabha had initially suspended priest Rajinder Prasad after learning of his alleged movement and following a review, however, the temple has now reinstated him. This is the major a major breaking that we're letting you know. And even it was said also that based on a preliminary input, priest Rajinder Prasad was suspended and as a result of further review that they did, they have now reinstated priest Rajinder Prasad to his duties and responsibilities at Hindu Sabha. And the statement read the uh, temple also rather of Simran underscored its commitment to promoting unity and peaceful coexistence with Canada's diverse society. Simran. Well, all right, Brian, thank you for sharing. In fact, the latest, uh, what we're tracking so far is that the priest, Rajendra Prasad, who made the speeches at the Hindu Sabha temple asking Hindus to unite, uh, was suspended by the temple on 5th and just two days later, he has now been reinstated by the temple authorities at the Hindu Sabha now. All right, joining me live on the broadcast for more details, in fact, uh, is my guest, Sanjeev Srivastav. Sir, I appreciate you joining me live on the broadcast. What is your take on what's Canada and the Trudeau government doing right now? In fact, this is only seemingly uh, increasing pro troubles for their own govern uh, government as far as the crackdown on the press is concerned. Now the suspension of the priest is concerned. Where are these actions heading to? No, Simran, I think uh, it is quite clear that uh, uh, there is uh, a very deep conspiracy uh, which are being hatched by this uh, 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 Khalistani extremist bull uh, against India, against Hindu, against Hindu temples, Hindu priests. And uh, they are, you know, uh, uh, trying to malign the image of, uh, you know, Hindu uh, uh, priest and Hindu uh, community there uh, by launching uh, this kind of uh, attack as well as uh, uh, running a defamation campaign. And now this uh, uh, our uh, Hindu priest, uh, Rajendra Prashad, uh, it appears that uh, he was also a victim of a conspiracy and now, uh, uh, as you have uh, uh, just reported, that uh, there was no, you know, evidence found against him uh, where uh, earlier he was uh, uh, accused of uh, promoting the uh, violent rhetoric, but uh, there was no substantial evidence found against uh, uh, him and uh, he is now being reinstated. So this shows that uh, 
there's a deep conspiracy to malign the image of hindu community hindu peace uh, hindu uh, uh, community members and uh, and uh, that is quite clear that uh, a very you know a strong uh, anti india uh, you know uh, activities and uh, and the conspiracies which are being hatched from Indian soil. And uh, there have been a lot of evidence uh, which Indian government has shared uh, about this kind of anti-India activities, anti-Hindu activities in Canada. But despite, you know, uh, such evidences, Canadian government has not taken any, any proper action thus far against uh, uh, this kind of uh, elements. And that's the very unfortunate part. And that has really, you know, negatively impacted the India Canada relationship, and for which I think uh, uh, clearly uh, there is no doubt that the Trudeau government and his approach uh, 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 towards uh, these uh, elements obviously is trying to appeach uh, those uh, uh, Khal uh, Khalistani extremist elements uh, just for the sake of uh, you know, uh, uh, protecting its uh, uh, minority government, and obviously Trudeau government uh, 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 for, the, for 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 to uh, uh, to fulfil its. Uh, a uh, narrow political vested interest, he has, uh, 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 he has uh, severely impacted India-Canada uh, relationship. So that is for sure. And uh, we still, uh, the unfortunate part is that despite uh, so much of uh, uh, things have happened, so much of negative developments have happened, Trudeau government is still not realizing that what kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, missteps they, he is taking. And obviously that will cost him very, very badly uh, in, in, in a political you know, uh, 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 upcoming uh, election uh, in Canada, that is for sure, that I can really assess uh, that uh, um, Trudeau's popularity is going down and down. Uh, his uh, uh, approach towards uh, this kind of uh, terror elements, uh, extremist elements, is um, uh, quite exposed now, and, uh, and, uh, uh, and uh, he will not get the kind of support he, uh, he was expecting to get uh, from the eight uh, uh, lakhs of our uh, uh, Sikh uh, brothers and sisters and uh, about 30 lakh of our entire Indian uh, community there in Canada. So I think right. uh, that will cost him very, very heavily. And uh, I think Canada is still not realizing that what kind of a message steps they are taking uh, against India. That, uh, that is what I would say. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.